Uh, we have Mr. E and Sinji. Hey, MGW, just know that I was staring at the camera. I was waiting to wink at you. Don't worry, I noticed you. I noticed you. All right, we're getting into this next game. We got game number one. We got Sinji versus uh, versus Mr. E with, uh, this, this is another one of those. This is just another one of the classic Xenos that you're used to seeing. Uh, it's pain. That's the best way I could put it. It's, it's, it's pain trying to find your way through the wall that Sinji puts up. You have the disjoint, yes, it does not really matter that much when Sinji boxes you out the way he does. It's 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 frustrating, honestly. You know, like he, he makes it difficult. For, he slows the game down to his pace. There's a bunch of characters in this game that you know really get to be the ones to always dictate the pace, the game plan. Um, and honestly, Pac-Man's one of those. Right now, Mr. E just trying to do anything he can to swat away the Hydra and use it to his advantage. But Sinji is just taking all that time while Mr. E's focused to pull out a couple of bells. Yeah, that's the majority of the bait game. You just let them swing at your hydrant for you. Usually, usually you, you have a good amount of knowledge of how much damage they put onto it so you can use it against them afterwards. Like, okay, you swung your forward air, I'm going to bounce it back. But in the meantime, I'm setting up. And look how much damage has happened because of that. Because you try to zone break, you try to get in, and Sinji just plays you like a flute the entire time. Yeah, uh, Sinji trying to find the F-tilt, not able to get it quite yet. Um... I love the way that Sinji just used a trampoline there, just sort of waited out Mr. E, understood that he couldn't push in, he couldn't do anything to challenge it, um, and, and just took the time to pull through the gun. That's so annoying! It's like, what do you do? What, what, what is the right call? You stay at the ledge, you get hit by the bell on the ledge. You decide to jump in, you get hit by the bell anyways. You decide to wait too long, he just up. runs up. If, if, if he already has bell at ledge, then he's already messed up. You, gotta, you have to accept your fate. You know, you know, what, you know what's the answer? To suffer. Sinji really do, do be the person to just come up to your door, knock on it, and just ask for that bill you owe for two months. So it's just, you sit there, you're trying to have a good time, Sinji's trying to ruin it. But honestly, it's just a testament to how good Sinji is on defense, how good he is at utilizing your impatience against you and making it so you try to pull the trigger and you get destroyed for it. Oh, that was such a good down once again, like, you know, Mr. Bye. <laughs> wow, we're just going to be eating an F smash, and this is a three, two, one. Stock lead. Sinji is looking so confident right now. Gonna get the punish. I don't like that. That 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 interaction felt uncomfortable. Honestly, the whole like the, the entire match has just looked like an uncomfortable experience for E. Like we've seen him pull it out multiple times. Where okay, I, I'm getting pushed back. We saw it against uh, Nick C. That whole first, uh, I think it was the second game. He got destroyed. Get absolutely destroyed but mr e is so good after a certain point of figuring out what it is that's getting him destroyed and adjusting i don't know if it'll happen here in game one but now that he's starting to slow it down i'm starting to feel a lot better about his decision making yeah for sure i think this has been consistent with the mr e that we've seen today every time that mr e has been swinging and getting in there you know like time and time he gets punished for it but as soon as he does start playing out of shield and slowing down the game um he just is able to open up his opponents yeah honestly that's just the best way to do it the punish game the simplicity of how oh my goodness <laughs> simple don't mean a damn thing we try to spike somebody that early gets a couple reads and he was looking for the coverage here too with the down so actually just overran a little bit there mm -hmm. Right now, Mr. Lee just sort of swinging, trying to catch a jump from Sinji, not able to find it. And again, like, we're not seeing a lot of that patient play that is so valued in a matchup like this. Right now, Sinji trying to fish for a little bit of the bell, finally able to catch a cross up with the back is Has. Oh, that was such a good call out. Oh, that, is, that is actually very important. Like, you can see Mr. E is. He's looking better. It, it, Sinji definitely. I, I still think Sinji's probably going to walk away with this game one just because Sinji's been on top of a lot of. The, the options he's been trying to cover but mr e is maybe actually i might rip my words away because mr e finds a counter and all of a sudden went down to one stock a piece yeah again you know his edge guarding and his light trapping is both so solid he understands what he needs to respect he knows how to counter things that he needs to right now making the most out of lucina's floatiness just sort of waiting to see you know mix up its uh landings um but Sinji not gonna be biting yeah, Sinji's, Sinji is now the one that actually has to kind of slow it down a bit. Like, Sinji is... I think he's playing in a mid-range that's a little bit too unsafe right now. It's like, you know what? You're trying to... Yeah, I, I, you try to get out of shield options. You try to box with him. But if you don't run away a bit and throw off this pace that Mystery has you and then find that solid punish to make him understand, hey, you can't just zone break like that, you might just lose the game. 
for sure um right now you know mr e just about anything will be able to take that stock that high dune though not going to be able to do it quite yet he primes it he's ready for it mr e respects it you have to always remember how much distance that has wow you know what i i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna just say the 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 crazy amount of confidence that mystery e had to actually just decide to play around that mix up and air dodge near like look, look at the fear here you have the hydrate that you have the the apple right there you know he could potentially throw it up or just try and catch you and he still just at the last second decided to air dodge down and in towards him still died for it afterwards but wow. ain't nobody in the world should be going next to Sinji like that when he has an apple in his hands for sure um, I mean, nah, hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, I, look, 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 look. Apple a day is not allowed. Anybody who's doing that in chat deserves a timeout. That's a, that's my, that's my note. I don't want to hear anybody who's ever on the mic be doing the Apple of the day, day jokes, <laughs> including in chat. Ajax, <laughs> I think that's what you would call some low hanging fruit. Oh my God. Right, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. How do I mute my co-caster? Thank you very much for that. <laughs> so we're getting into game number two. <laughs> Here we go. Now. Started things off here on um, Yoshi's. This is the stage we actually haven't seen in a while. Yeah, um, you know, Mr. E, like I often see him try to counter pick people here. He gets really, you know, comfortable with platform extensions. You know, you're able to form his recovery um, in a specific way as well. Um, and, and honestly, he just looks so comfortable on the stage. Yeah, I, I actually like the stage because you get, you get the earlier KO options. Obviously, you got the kill power still available um to pac-man but I, I like the fact that it actually i don't like anything anymore stop running around menacing like that with that galaga he still found the opening There's numbers so much that you numbers have. you stop that i see you in chat you cut that out <laughs> oh man okay so right now we're just looking for this ledge trap once again just finds it he understands what he needs to react to he positions the shield you know he's always able to catch those jumps um, but this is a completely human game right now to the decimal. Yeah, this is incredibly close. Uh, oh, there's the counter though. That's one of the things that works well on this stage. Once you're forced, if you, if, because it's such a low blast zone, you can't really afford to stall too heavy. So you're forced to actually have to maybe climb the wall on the side and that counter can hit that pretty much every time. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, oh boy. Whenever Sinju goes behind your shield and stares at you, you already know what he wants. He wants it every single time. Excellent catch from Mr. E, but Sinji is still able to hit past it as he recovers. Um, no matter, finds his way back onto center stage, dashes back a little bit, anticipating an aggressive option, just trying to gain a little bit of distance. I love the patient. Just wait, don't push, wait it up. You know, it's gotta dissipate eventually. It's so crazy how much easier it is for uh, Sinji to go into after he gets the key in hand. Because you saw, like, Mr. E was, like, trying to respect it. And he just ran up and fared him. Like, okay, you have to always hold shield because you have to be fair, very scared of that exact option a second ago. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Down here's going to shield poke but not KO yet. Okay, this is a terrifying <laughs> position for Sinji to put Mr. E in. But he is able to find himself out of it. Because had Mr. E stepped on top of that trampoline oh my gosh he would have jumped right into the high trip i have no idea how mr e was able to navigate around that trap it was such a perfectly played trap and also still holding on to this percent at 159 and actually starting to take the lead gets the forwarder he's forced to recover higher is he gonna be able to get around it and yes he is somehow since he got away from that Wow, Mr. E dying to an up from the middle of the stage. 163 cent, anything can happen. You wildest dreams. That is an excellent angle to put the Hydrogen at, but uh, not able to last enough to cover the part of the platform that would be relevant to the ledge trap. But right now, you know, Mr. E respecting the Galaxian, very comfortable with its trajectory as well, knowing when he can go for an F smash. I'm so glad I didn't get hit because I get actually aggravated every time I see somebody stare down a Pac-Man at the ledge holding one. It's like, you don't realize. I hope you understand that if you make a mistake, you're taking 70, right? You're willing to accept this? Okay, good. You just gotta let him back on. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta be okay with it. You have to accept your fate. You have to say, you know what? You already won. Just get back onto the stage and we'll play again. Yeah, sometimes it's just not worth it. It's better to let them on. And a good option with that back air out of shield there punishing is he gonna find the ledge trap? He gets the cross up back air, goes for it again. Sinji goes low and somehow dips around Mr. E. 
it's like it's like it's like Mr. E with a fly swatted, you know? It's like he's just keeps trying to, you know, land this hit, but as soon as he does do that, you know it's gonna be the kill. I feel uh, like it's almost like Mr. E's trying to catch a fly with his hands. <laughs> Sinji is just dipping out at all the last second, just somehow avoiding. We talked about how Mr. E held on onto that percent before. Now it's different. <laughs> now we're at 159, and Mr. E's about to lose the stock first. So that was such a cute setup with the trampoline a little bit early, with the way that oh. Sinji forced Mr. E's movement, because he knew that if Mr. E wanted to jump in, he would have only one place to do it, right? He yeah. set it up in such a way that he'd be able to punish him if he hit a shield, if he hit anything else. Um, right now, Sinji Sinji just does that all the time. He just He's so good at establishing like a one trap that covers like seven options and you have maybe one guess it within a second of, to, to not get hit by it like but at 140 looks for the jump i'm so surprised that mr e decided to chill but then again it risk management right there the downer still not gonna kill yeah, that move has so much base knockback it can kill you off the side at like 20 but it scales you know it, it, it's non-existent really um but right now since he needs one good hit, anything else could do it. He's a back hit, an up hit, even like a neutral hit could do it. Oh my god. Oh, he doesn't get hit! How? How is he still alive? The back throw is still not gonna kill even on Yoshi's 190%. The back throw is trash. I feel like Hydrant might have just had something to do with that. Maybe. Um, because regardless, finds the apple. Traveled at a really good angle. I like the way that Sinji positions himself to be able to get that quite often. Um, this is not a game that Mr. E wants to go on any longer. Any longer, and Senji's gonna find something. Yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, if he got hit right there by that fire hydrant into the down air, that would have been Mr. E in an awful position. So he's lucky he didn't get that. Plus, giving Sinji two games up is is atrocious. I mean, you never want to be behind two games against anybody, but Sinji with two games, that's a free time to just take as much time as he feels like. For sure. Um, right now, wow, that string was so good. Able to catch Mr. E just really with an anti-air dodge back onto the stage. Love the recovery mix-up. Mr. E was not ready to catch it at all. Um, just making like all of the space on the ground that just basically says, hey, don't land. You don't even have enough time to shield. I like the way that Mr. E just standing on the top platform letting this happen. Yeah, I mean, he can't really do too much about it. Like, he tried to go out there. He's still going to get that uh, Galaga regardless. And uh, Hydrate's in the way. You might give him an opportunity to get on. It's just, like, Sinji's just, like, optimizing his defense at KO percent so well. It, the way that he is forcing Mr. E's movement and catching these jumps is immaculate. The way that he controlled the ground, scaling him into double jump, backing up that way. Wow, Mr. E thinks he can camp top platform safely. Sinji's establishing, nope, that's no longer the case. He's making all these excellent adjustments. It's kind of nuts how good Sinji is at KO percent because look at this, he has now reversed it. He, and oh, he has won. That's it, baby. <laughs> You're now down two games against Sinji. So you know what you do? You, uh, you play. It's, it's actually nuts. Like, We've seen it so many times, and it was only eight seconds left on that clock, and Mr. E still decided to go in and try and find a KO because he's a bit worried about the potential from Pac-Man, but the thing is, you decided to go in, and, <laughs> and Sinji's yeah. waiting for that. Sinji operates at a different level when he's at KO percent, especially when he senses that you're hungry for the kill. For sure, he just knows how to play in such a way that he will avoid every single one of your kill options. He is so cognizant of what can set up into a kill from an opponent at this percent and just plays keep away. He plays keep away and he sets up traps before you realize it. And then he, you know, he adapts. He adapts so well. Exactly. Just running it back now here to to Yoshi's. I don't hate the idea. I think it was a pretty good stage regardless. Like even though he ended up losing at the end, it was still it, it was still very, very even. He just kind of got into a position at the end where it's like, well, I can't find the KO. <laughs> Oh my god, is he gonna die? Oh, he still had his jump. Yeah, no, no, Mr. He's still gonna be hanging on just a little bit longer. Sinji giving himself a little bit of coverage with the Hydrogen again. Just giving himself all of these openings to be able to charge bonus food safely. I like the patience right I like the patience right there just trying to like bait wait out because I keep trying to look for any perceivable opening like what is like I'm trying to find the, uh, the idea of what Mr. E is trying to look for what kind of actions is he looking for out of Sinji and it's mostly just when Sinji finally decides to budget maybe a forward air or a burst option and it looks like he's got a good idea except he's getting hit a lot on his defensive choices right now for sure 
Yeah, but once Sinji gets something going, he really knows how to get it going. Well, while right now, it seems as though Mr. Lee's hits a Moiso one-off, but able to swat Sinji out of the air. Great catch on that side B. Um, not really, like, you know, Sinji just trying to avoid getting too clean, but wow, what a kill. Decided to chill on my property for a little bit too long. That fly swatter may have worked before, but this is mine. Go away. And 0%, honestly, like, ah, this is just so rough. Because oh even with this, like, Sinji is doing exactly what we expected. Now two games up, he's just chilling because he knows Mr. E's got to be the one to pull the trigger first. For sure. Um, while just side being directly onto Mr. E's shield and up being away that is such a smart getaway option because even though it might not be particularly safe on shield frame advantage wise, um, by the time Pac-Man gets out of there, he is just out of range completely. Yeah, it's so hard. Just the game of cat and mouse just becomes so much more stressful as it goes, especially when Sinji has so many escape options like that. Back air not going to do it yet, but he forces... That would have been great. If he caught him with the cherry, not only would he have been able to cover wow. him on a higher recovery... Yep, off the you gotta baby. be careful, don't jump at him! <laughs> but it's Yoshi's, it's Yoshi's, the ledge messed up the hydrant. So unfortunate for Mr. Ian. Oh buddy, what was that angle? Can we talk about that? Oh my that god, so that, was, that was... If he got punched into that bell, I would've lost my mind. Wow, right now just Sinji also occupying the top platform, making it so difficult for Mr. E to platform camp, the one space where he has actually felt safe for most of this game on Yoshi's, um, now suddenly being invalidated. Yeah, which is really painful. And then the Z drop Apple, it's one of the first times we've seen that mix up out of uh, Sinji this set. So that was a really good sleeper pick. And then the up B, not only stopping the break, but actually giving them positional advantage there. That upbeat just interrupted everything Mr. Lee was looking for. I, I have to say, like, some of these setups, every time I see Sinji play, it's like, wow, this, this is new. You know, everybody take notes. Yeah, he always just has something new in his pocket, just always waiting for, like, to pull something else out. Especially when you've been playing people as much as he has, like, numbers or Mr. E and company. It's just, you can't do the same trick twice. And the fact that he's got so many still left, it's got to be so difficult. That Dolphin Slash finally gets the KO though. Man, it's a little bit too late. Mr. Lee down two games to one. Granted, we have seen some ridiculous, you know, reverse 3 uh from Mr. E this tournament already, but he is swinging. He is swinging and Sinji is content sitting where he is now. Yeah, and that's perfect because now that you're in this position, you, you make mystery approach, you get those good air to airs or just punishing him for trying to hit you and you got out of position. Dash cancel F tilt has put in so much work tonight. He used it against numbers. He's been using it against uh, Mr. E. It's, it's been immaculate as an approach tool. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's just it's just been the consistent way for them to be able to get in there. Um, right now, Sinji just sort of finding his way back onto the platform. Oh. But Mr. E, overshooting beautifully you know most people will try to take advantage of just how much oh, they can move the, end. the water actually messed it up mr e actually read that tech roll in with the back air but he gets to continue it now is he gonna read the high recovery uh, yes he is idiot. wow wow he can do it man he can do it it's it's like within the realm of doability again he always finds a way to make these back that is like you, you just you just have to applaud the fact that Mr. E is able to keep it in there. Because when I was on Gambit yesterday, we were talking about how Meister just knows how to like drain the life out of you while you play and makes it to the, he gets to the point where he gets in your head, you feel like nothing you do is a confident choice. Sinji can do the same thing and it sure looked like that leading up to that point. But Mr. E's resilience to keep it together the game and three, still Mr. get it. When he's down two games to O, um, man, let me tell you, I, I haven't seen him lose those. I just, I just straight up have not you know? He always finds a way to make those back. How many, how many, has there been a 3-0 all, at all? <laughs> Looking, the only 3-0 that actually happened was off stream. Every other one has been game four or five. So we're getting here into game number four, uh, running it to Kalos. I'm actually kind of surprised the stage that left open. I'm very oh, interested to oh. know what he did at ban. I mean, what he did oh. ban. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm interested as well. Um, obviously, this is the kind of stage that, that you know Sinji just has the most space in. But every time somebody is at ledge against Mr. E, it's a taking five hits to be dying, um, and and Mr. E just keeps on establishing this fact. Um, Sinji needs to stop getting off of ledge so aggressively and hitting Mr. E's shield with Porter. He's ready to parry and he's ready to catch the drifts. 
Yeah, that's that, like, I mean, way back when, when we saw uh, the set versus, who was it? I don't remember, um, against WebJP. The, the thing we always point out about Mr. E's excellent play is the ledge traps. And if you can't navigate around that, you constantly jump into Mr. E's face on the ledge, you're just asking for trouble. Children, right now, I like that going through the dash attacks. They're sort of making a lot of impenetrable space for Mr. E, making him uncomfortable to sit on the ground. I'd like to see some jump capitalizations coming from Sinji. Oh boy, that's a that's an uncomfortable position to be in. Yeah, I j and what's the option here? Trying to go for a high <laughs> instead of going high, just decides to near out of shield to back off Mr. E. Um, Sinji. It's gotta be feeling good about that because <laughs> most of the time when you're sitting there staying stuff against a ledge and you try to wait too long, this thing just would have thrown you back off and reset the whole situation. For sure. Right now, Sinji dash attacking and crossing up Mr. E, not expecting that move long enough. Sinji's still gonna be able to pull out a shield, but I will say that Sinji has been consistently holding onto shield or going through upbeat every single time that he does hit Mr. E's shield. So next time, I would like to see Mr. E try to adapt some turning around grabs out of shield could be so welcome here. It's kind of similar to what we saw against Tilde too as well. Tilde kept looking for hits, but Sinji stayed in shield because he never got punished for it. So when you're camping around the shield like that so much and nobody's doing anything about it, but you catch him trying to bury you in the fire hydrant, that back air finally closing that stock. Yeah, right now, wow. Just like again, you know, able to both prime the hydrant, uh, you know, just do like a little bit of a check on Mr. E, but I have to say, I really do appreciate how patiently he is taking this when he has a stock up. You're just waiting for circumstances to improve. Waits for the hydrant to disappear, maybe a trampoline, bonus food. You just waits for it all to kind of happen. Yeah, it's just a whole game of risk management right now. It's like I can't, I can't overcommit to anything. It's just, it's just a bad time. It luckily got away from that trap right there. But Mr. E just trying to understand what is dangerous and what he can't or cannot punish. It, the same thing goes for Sinji. And Sinji's finding the trap. Luckily, not getting set far away uh, to die to that. Yeah, and, and Sinji's just struggling to be able to get in, right? Because he's trying to go through all these setups. Mr. E not even initiating um, and thus invalidating the setup itself. So Sinji needs to find a way to get in at this point. Yeah, he's actually using this stage to his advantage in terms of being able to camp. He's just hiding out on that platform. And he's like, well, if you wish to do something about it, you have to come up here. And that's absolutely not what he wants. Oh boy. The amount of times he's caught people with that tech coverage all night and doesn't get the counter and then gets reversed by the fire hydrant, but still 124%. If Mr. E can get this right now, that'll be a great start. And, and I love that back off. It's just basically saying like, hey, I know what you want. I already know what you want. I'm not going to give it to you. I'm just going to let you get right back on. Wow. This is this could still be Cindy's ledge trap right here. But Mr. E with a beautifully timed forward, is still able to catch the bell and get the hit. I like the attempt to go for the bell down and then using the nair, just keeping it safe, covering quite a bit. And Sinji behind, I do just, I really like Mr. E's patience right now. It's like, let me not over, let me not overdo anything. Let me not overcommit. I'm just asking for trouble. And Sinji has to, he has to break the pattern. For sure. Um, Sinji has just like, you know, really been struggling at a certain point, like to understand like, yo, what do I do against Mr. E camping me? Right? Mr. E doesn't want to fall into these setups. He doesn't want to initiate. He doesn't want to be put into that rock, paper, and scissors to begin with. He has no incentive to approach right now. And Sinji is not getting much off of camping himself. I just, it just occurred to me. Maybe it's my own detriment that I looked at the clock. But we started top eight, maybe at 6.30. Yes. Give or take. We're in loser semis. Uh-huh. What it's, about it? It's ten, it is 10 o'clock. <laughs> That's what happens when we have WeFit and Steve and Pac-Man in the top four. I have to say, love that patience, waiting for that, you know, just to send you to press a button. I have to submit that he just catches on to his antsiness and, and his desire to kill. You can feel the bloodlust emanating. Yeah, honestly, and you see like, Mr. E just try he's trying to find that mistake. He's trying to find, oh, there you go. He gets the grab, forces a good position. Is he going to read a high recovery? No, he just tries to catch him with the force smash at the ledge. Sinji is looking at potentially having to go to game number five. That stage is so wide, though, for Kalos. That back throw still not going to be enough. And then now we see Mr. E starting to push in a little bit, trying to see if he can get Sinji to break up his formation a little bit. I love the way that Mr. E has been landing with down air. It's such a huge hitbox. Sinji doesn't have the tools to contest it. He just has to respect it or try to catch that move in the thug it up, which is no easy feat. Whoa.
Yeah, and that back air taking it away. And even even without that back air happening, that clock was reaching one minute, 40 seconds. If Sinji could not close that stock out anytime soon, actually, I actually got past that. Uh, if, if Sinji wasn't able to seal the deal, th I don't know how Sinji takes that game away after. You got to put on 140 plus percent just to try and take the lead away. That, that, that would have that been very, very painful experience. This might be Mr. E sitting on the verge of another reverse 3-0. Um, you know, just, you know, barely a little bit earlier today, you know, we saw WebGP win the first two games against him, looking so confident, and then Mr. E opens you up, unravels you, and edge guards you. He finds a way to ledge trap you, and you die. There's right? something about Mr. E when he gets into clutch mode. That, that crew battle E we talked about before, that when he gets into that mode, it is nearly impossible to kill him or mix him up. Sinji has to just pull out all the tricks, all the stops, get into uh, Mr. E's head, rip this confidence away, this newfound confidence, because otherwise, if Mr. E's allowed to camp like that, away from his setups, we are looking at a reverse 3 -0. Getting into game number five, I honestly can't wait to see who walks away with this, because this one, it's been a long one. If it turns out to be Sinji, after the fact that he wins the first two games and made us sit through another two, the, the animosity that would fill my body, uh, but I, might goodness. Go, I might have to unsub, not gonna lie. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, I wanna, I, I, I wanna see all, all the smartest tricks. You see Sinji now pushing in, getting the Galaga twice, 93%, looking for the forward smash read on the floor. That would have been an enormous lead and possibly a stock. Wow. Um, and again, like, Sinji has just not been able to consistently punish any of these dolphin slashes. Um, Mr. E has been timing them in oh. such a way. An excellent tech. Sinji tried to position himself to punish it, but was not able to get there in time. And not even just after that, the immediate air dodge down and in is go it was, was gold. Because if he stayed out there, possibly could have just been pushed away once again by Sinji. Wow. <laughs> I, we both I, just I, kind of swinging a little bit, and Mr. E's just holding onto the stock so well. Here we go. What's the call? Tries to go through for the apple upwards. That definitely could have gotten a KO. You see, Sinji try like now after all that aggressive play from before. Sinji understands the like the dangerous nature that he that that is approaching Mr. E. He's like, you know what? I can't. I I have to play it safe. I need a trap set up. Trying to look would have pushed him right into the apple, but Mr. E dipping out of there real quick. Yeah, oh, trying to set up the tech chase once again, doing what he does best, the double down tilt into the down smash, gets him every single time. I will say I love the recognition from Sinji to tech in, because it would have covered every single other option. It would have mm -hmm. killed him if he teched out, teched in place, done a get up attack. It would have only not killed if he teched in, because he has enough space to still be able to live. Yep, understanding the damage management right there. That, like, that would have been a KO the any other way. The anti-air opera is finally going to take it, though. But really, that double down tilt has been paying the bills all night. And Mr. E is just got to find a way to not let Sinji get away with this right now. That's 30. Looking for a reset. Doesn't get it, though. Luckily, only walked away with 30. Um, Sinji with the lead. This is going to be a little bit difficult. But we've seen Mr. E even these up before. Um, I really love that idea just to sort of mix up Dancing Blade on Shield while Sinji was still scared. I won't be surprised if we start seeing, like, you know, um, also a Shield Blade mix up uh, one of these days. Oh. Catches the jump. There we go. That is one of the key factors of trying to dodge around Lucina at the ledge. That Nair just covers so much, and you, mm -hmm. you really want to do something about it, but you just can't. And 57%, <laughs> yeah, respect him. Walk away. Don't even bother. It's not, it, it, that forward air it's is not a thousand worth. times better than getting hit by the Galaga. No matter how cool you think your corner pressure is, no matter how you think you're good your ledge trapping is, you are nothing. You pale in comparison to the Pac-Man at ledge with Galaxian. You just kind of have to let it happen. Yeah, I, it's just it's just so much better. Just give him like as much as I hate giving up stage positioning and watching people do it It's just you got to respect it It's gonna beat you out and you take so much damage for it every time and mr E has now started to kind of replicate what we saw in that last game on Kalos kind of playing it a bit more passive Looking for those little hits and it's starting to work that side B out of shield was so smart Sinji has already established that he is gonna be shielding after crossing up with dash attack every single time But he's also been preemptively dropping his shield a little bit early be it to spot dodge or go for an out of shield punish So mr. Lee just able to mix up his timing a little bit. So so good um, Wow yeah, you see Sinji's trying to play like in that manner that that just gets you frustrated. He understands like, look, he's looking for jumps out of shield. He's looking for these punishes, trying to catch me like dipping away so I could get set up. 
And because of Man. that, he's finding his openings. Bait. He's forcing Mr. E to do something got a little reckless there. You have to, you have to oh, affect no. that move. And such an unfortunate pineapple. Exactly what Sinji needs, but oh boy. After Mr. E has these. Like, this is it. This is the crew battle Mr. E that we're seeing right now. Yeah, you see Mr. E trying to find his way in. However, big damage, 33%. He's going to be looking. Yeah, you always have to wait for it. What do we do now? What is, what's, what's the call? You have to be careful that, that yeah, run away. Your shield was getting low. You don't want to get poked. Honestly, I'm dashing I, I and shielding, dashing and shielding. The way that Sinji plays with Adam's Galaxian is so good. Wow, Mr. E finding a window of opening just Ooh. after he hits the shield. Once again, catching Sinji on these aggressive attempts to get back onto the stage. I love it, the way that he like tried to go inwards and avoided the counter explicitly. That was like so good. That, oh, he gets attacking, he avoids uh, dying there. I like the fact that Mr. E deciding, you know what? I've gone for ledge traps last few times and I'm deciding to go in. It's 60%, it's last stock. We are in game number five. Somebody moves on here. Mr. E trying to get the run back on a reverse 3-0. Sinji trying so hard to stop the bleed. Oh my gosh, like this is this is doable. This is still quite literally anybody's game because the hydrant is on the opposite side of the stage. Since you did not have access to it as a stall move or as a timing mix up, um, you know, as soon as Mitsui has an equality like that, it is, it's, you know, it's terrifying. Yeah, and now at 119% too, you're only a mix up away or a potential belly hand, hand like that. That's gonna be it. Oh. What? An incredible run from Mr. E all night, but what a great job from Sinji shutting down what could have easily been one of the most heart-wrenching 3-0 reversals that he's experienced, and that was, that was incredible. Great job from Mr. E keeping that close, but oh my god, was that difficult to try and beat Sinji throughout that set, playing immaculately. Wow. Um, I mean, honestly, like all that momentum just immediately died as soon as Mr. Lee SD'd. Wow, that was so unfortunate. He was on the verge of making that comeback as well. I have to say, to, to beat somebody two games back to back, then lose the next two, give them hope, only to take it away once again. Evil. Yeah, still absolutely credit, evil. Mad credit where credit's due. Like, it, it, Sinji just played so well. Even, like, even with the SD, at 120%, the KO setup could have possibly been there just constantly navigating around all the pressure, but my God, did Mr. E keep it close. Just getting away from so much. And guys, with that being said, we're gonna be jumping into the final stretch of bracket, first into losers finals and then winners finals. You want, oh goodness. Oh, oh my God. You, you I've, I've disappeared uh, into the shadow realm, yeah. <laughs> I see uh, you're trying to dip out here. Guys, it used to uh, be the house of Palu, but it's now it's people building houses. We got Minecraft Steve, we got Sinji, and we got John numbers still left to go. Also Absolutely. MGW, but um, still, it's just actually I I, I don't even mm -hmm. I don't know I don't know what else to say. This is, this is not exactly what I was expecting for this top three. <laughs>